Hi, this video is the second part of the video fixed order quantity models. So if you're watching this video and you have not watched part one, please watch part one because this is starts this second part starts with the total annual cost. So the total annual cost is how much you're gonna spend in one entire year uh, with our uh, inventory based on the economic order quantity model so this is going to tell you this formula is going to tell you how much you're going to spend if we use this optimal order quantity we found right here okay this is the units okay so the formula for total annual cost is given by by this this function here so the we i'm going to separate in three different parts i'm going to explode in three different parts the first part is dc dc is the annual demand d multiplied by the unit cost of each one of our products okay or the raw material we are purchasing <clears throat> so i know that i i'm going to use or i'm going to buy 1000 units per year and my cost per unit is 12.50 so this is how much my supplier charges for each unit of the product i'm pur i'm purchasing so if i'm going to buy if i'm if i need a thousand units and each unit costs 12.50 cents i'm going to spend twelve thousand five hundred uh, dollars as uh, the total cost this is the total cost to buy the raw material, the units, the products. Okay, so this is how much I pay to my supplier. That's okay. How, how, sorry, how much I pay to my supplier. This is this part of the formula. Now you have to compute this part of the formula, and I'm going to start with making this division of demand divided by the optimal order quantity. So this is a thousand units per year divided by how many units I purchase, I buy every time I place an order. So this is going to tell me how many orders I have to place per year. This tells me that I must place 11.18 orders in one entire year. In one entire year. Okay. Each order let's say each order uh, is of 89.44 units or 90 units so if i place 11.18 orders of 89.44 units every in in each one of these orders then i'm going to order 1000 units Okay, and if I divide, uh, if I if I get this number of orders and multiply by S, so again, D divided by Q is how many orders I'm going to place in one entire year. If I multiply by the cost per order, I have, let's do this, so I place 11 point. 18 orders and I multiply by the cost per order so in one entire year is going to cost me 55.90 dollars per year to place these orders so this uh, means that I have an annual cost of 
50, 55.90 cents to place all orders in one year. Okay, this is also my this is my total ordering cost. Okay. So this is my total ordering cost. This is my total cost to, to buy the raw material. Now I have my holding cost. So my holding cost, I'm going to start with the Q divided by 2. Q divided by 2 is the optimal order quantity. Okay, remember, every time I place an order, I purchase 90 units. So increases 90 units. When I divide it by 2, it gives me half of that, which is the average. So if I get my optimal order quantity divided by 2, I get this is the average inventory I hold. Okay? This is the average inventory I hold. And we use the average because half of the time we have the inventory full and half of the time we have the uh, the inventory uh, not and en not entirely full or going to like l less than the average so we use the average because it balances having a full inventory once along the time and having uh, inventory almost empty at the end of the period we are using the inventory okay now if we get this average inventory and we multiply by age let's take a look how much age is age is 1.25 we have age here okay so we're going to multiply by age which is my holding cost per per unit per year so i hold an average inventory of 44.72 units and i multiply by my holding cost per unit per year this gives me this is the um, holding annual holding cost my annual holding cost which means this is how much how much it costs for the for the company for me this is how much it costs for me to carry hold inventory inventory so my total my tc or total annual cost is going to be equal to everything i pay to my supplier to purchase the raw material plus uh, the amount that I spend with placing orders plus the amount I spend with holding inventory so that's the my this um, so my total annual cost for my total annual cost for 1000 units is twelve thousand six hundred eleven six hundred eleven dollars and eighty cents okay and if we check let's go back and check so we have the optimal order quantity 89.44 89.44 the reorder point in is 13.7 units and my total annual cost is twelve thousand six hundred and eighty one cents eighty cents you're rounding something here okay so this is how you, you use these tools and find information about um, inventory management using the fixed order quantity model okay